Hey everyone, it's Chris at saltwaterwitch.com. Find all my astro stuff over there. I'm really happy with the ZWO AM5, and I put together a list of a few things that AM5 owners should definitely explore. Number one, uh, the ASI Mount mobile app is a tool you should get. I installed the ASI Mount app on my iPhone a week before the mount arrived. Yeah, I was a bit excited. ZWO provides the application tools you need to configure your AM5 and keep its internal software, firmware, up to date. Use the ASI Mount app on your iPhone, your iPad, Android phone, tablet to set or adjust the AM5's home position and other settings. The app is built around a beautiful night sky observation view with full search functions, using your location to show what's above you at the moment. Seriously, take a few minutes to check out the sky in the ASI Mount app. Zoom in, find your favorite deep sky targets. A really impressive amount of design and engineering went into this. To use the app, plug in the hand controller, connect uh, to the AM5's Wi-Fi hotspot, which is going to be named AMH underscore XXXX, where the X's are an ID or a random number, I think, for the mount. So links below in the uh, show notes to, uh, to the Android, the Google Play store and the iPhone uh, and the iOS store. Uh, next up, two words, cable management. Watch your loose cables on the AM5. This is a very compact and powerful mount. Always keep the power of this mount in mind. There are no clutches to slip. The gearing is always engaged. And if you snag your USB and power cables on the altitude adjustment knob, the mount can easily pull those out. If you don't have fancy cable clips, I always recommend picking up a roll of one inch wide gaffer tape. I mean the more expensive cloth stuff that will hold things down but won't leave any residue. Get the real thing, not the cheap stuff. I use gaffer tape to hold cables together, to tape cables to the mount or the side of a camera. It's as permanent as you want it to be, holding whatever you need to hold until it's time to tear down your gear. Then it just peels away, and, and most times you can reuse it. There are many sources from this, uh, for this, but uh, I've, I usually purchase them from Amazon. Link below for the, for the one, uh, the, the brand I get. Third, start with a clean slate for guiding. In PHD2, in the ASI Air app, or whatever app you're using for guiding in your astrophotography system, begin your first session by clearing the calibration. Slew to a nice star near the meridian and about halfway up toward the zenith. The, the ideal point is where the meridian meets the celestial equator. Somewhere in there. Pick a, pick a nice set of stars. If you're in the northern hemisphere, you slew to the southern meridian. In the southern hemisphere, you slew north. So run calibration in your auto-guiding application or application module. Let it run and build up the data to tune your system for better guiding. It takes a few minutes away from imaging, but in, in my experience, it's always worth it. And uh, finally, the ZWO AM5 community and the ZWO product information, I just I list those as a, as a fourth tip or something to look at, something to explore. There's already a lot of information out there, and the experiences with the AM5 grow every day. If you use Facebook, I highly recommend joining the ZWO AM5 Mount Users Group link links in the show notes below. There are new posts of setups, AM5 questions, with a lot of participation from the community. Or go to the source. ZWO has produced a full AM5 manual, as well as their, you know, their quick guides for general operations and stuff for their other products, which you may also have. Take some time to review the AM5 page on the ZWO site. As of this writing, there are 131 items on the AM5 Q&A page. Chances are someone's asking the, the, you know, a question you, uh, you're seeking an answer for. And the product page itself is long with mount specs, information on strain wave gearing, periodic error measurements, mount features, mechanical diagrams, and more. And for those who want to dig into the AM5's periodic error report, check out the 10 things to know about the PE test report. That's the title. Link again in the, in the show notes below. It's definitely worth exploring some of these. I, I, I recommend checking them out. Uh, that's it for now. Clear skies, everyone.